Hi guys, ready for another piece of grammar? I think we are well prepared to throw ourselves in the deep end and try to understand the use of form of the comparatives and the superlatives. But the content will be split up in two videos and there will be plenty of examples to grab it. This time, American culture and our own will be the excuse to exemplify these grammatical points. In case I'm sure you have a good grounding in the use and form of superlatives and comparatives. But here we will have a look at certain particular aspects of their use and form. As you know, we use the comparative to compare two things or two persons and the superlative to say that one of them stands out for any particular reason. For example, MBA is more competitive than our league athlete. The MBA is the most competitive league in the world. Regarding the formation of comparatives and superlatives of adjectives and adverbs, to one syllable adjectives we add ER to form the comparative and EST to form the superlative, as in new, for example, newer than and the newest. Remember that to two syllable adjectives ending in LY, Y and W, we also add ER or AST. For example, Mar Menor is one of the shallowest coastal salt water lagoon. Other two syllable adjectives or adverbs with more than two syllables form comparatives and superlatives with more and most. Americans are more eager than Spaniards to leave a restaurant as soon as they are done eating. Life is not easy when learning a language, and there are adjectives which can have both endings or more or most when forming the comparatives and the superlatives, as you can see in the chart. These are simple, common, narrow, gentle, pleasant, clever, cool, narrow, polite, quiet. For instance, you can hear streets in Madrid are narrower or more narrow than in New York. There are also irregular forms, as you well know. Good, well, better, the best. Bad, badly, worse, the worst. Much and more, and the most, and little, less, and least. In the case of two other adjectives, there is a slight change in the spelling, and in this case they are used in a different way. The first one is old. You can spell it in a normal way, with a comparative older, and a superlative the oldest, but if you spell it with e, the eldest, or the elder than, that one is referred to family relationships. Biden named his eldest son as himself, for example. The second adjective is far. You can use in the comparative and superlative form, spell it with A in the normal way, father than or the farthest. But you can also see this adjective spelled with U, further and the furthest. And sometimes in this case, it is used with a metaphorical meaning. For example, if you say, can I have further information? Is what we say in Spanish, can puedo tener más información? Now that the form is clear, we can highlight some other aspects. In Spanish, we use the superlative form when talking of a two-member group, but in English, we use a comparative. When we say in Spanish, el más alto de los dos, we say in English, the taller of the two. we can use the following prepositions in English. In, for places and groups in singular, and of, for time and for groups in plural. Examples are very clarifying, so have a look at these ones. The vessel is the newest visitor attraction in Hudson Yards. That is a place. 
LeBron James is the greatest basketball player in his team, group in singular. Or LeBron James is the greatest basketball player of all time, time, obviously. And the One World Trade Center is the highest building of all the skyscrapers in New York, groups in plural. By far, can be used to modify the superlative degree and it is quite emphatic. Central Park is by far the most visited place in New York. This question may sound quite obvious, but in Spanish we always use the subject pronoun. Es más trabajador que ella. The clue here is the presence of the verb in the clause following the comparative. In other words, if you say the verb, the subject is included. And if not, you use the object pronoun, for example. She is more hardworking than she is, or she is more hardworking than her. Well, less or fewer, that's the question. These words have the comparative form. They can be used followed by a noun, and they are referred to express a quantity. In Spanish, we say menos all the time. So what shall we do? Here you have the magical formula. Use less for uncountable nouns and fewer for countable nouns in plural. Spain receives less immigration than states. New York State received 50,000 fewer doses than last month, but there is always a catch. With amounts, we use less even if they are plural. The Chrysler building weighs 198 tons less than the Statue of Liberty. Perhaps you may be shocked when hearing native speakers saying less and fewer indistinctly. My word of advice is try to follow the rule when writing and speaking in formal contexts. The double comparative. This structure is often used with get and the two comparatives are joined by the word and and express a gradual process. Balance it is translated by cada vez más. Texas is getting more and more armed. Another way of comparing is saying that two things are equal or different in some way. For that, we use the structure as plus adjective plus us or not plus as plus adjective plus as. French Quarter in New Orleans can be as likely as the West Village in New York. There are plenty of structures to further modify this comparison and they can be very useful to enrich your writing or your speaking. Yes, as plus adjective plus as, the companies located in the Centro Tecnológico de Madrid are just as cutting edge as the ones in Silicon Valley. In a way, you can also use just about as plus adjective and as, almost as plus adjective and as, not quite or not nearly, plus adjective as or nowhere near as, plus adjective and as or half twice or three times as plus the adjective and as. Idiomatic expressions are very common and found in all types of English, but mainly in informal ones. We learn the most common ones during the process of writing, reading, or coming across any material in English. When you are at school or when you are in your leisure time, try to use them and go for them as many times as you can. Here you have some, as big as life, an exaggerated way to state that someone appeared in a particular place, or as black as speech when it is very dark, or as blind as a bat, or as busy as a beaver, or as busy as a bee, as clear as crystal, as cool as a cucumber, as crazy as a loon, and so many more. Our last point, 
Remember when I told you that the video was about a piece of grammar? Here's the comparative, the comparative, when expressing a gradual process or when something changed depending on the other. I am very bold and I call this structure in Spanish estructura espejo because you repeat the same pattern. But I know English teachers sometimes go bananas. The more you get lost in Manhattan, the happier you feel. In Spanish, we translate this for cuanto más te pierdes en Manhattan, más feliz te sientes. An important aspect here is to repeat the subject in the second clause because in Spanish we omit it. An example could be the more I study, the less I remember. And in Spanish they say, cuanto más estudio, menos me acuerdo. So the pattern has to be equal in the two clauses. I think it's fair enough. Do you feel like practicing? The video as many times as you need to think of the answers. I promise I won't be too hard on you. First one, never have I seen such a fantastic show. It is there. Second, as he advanced, the jungle became thicker. The father... Number three, danger increases if you drive fast. The faster... And the last one, her coat is much more expensive than mine. My coat... And the Oscar goes to... It is the most fantastic show I have ever seen. The farther I advance, the thicker the jungle gets. The faster you drive, the more dangerous it is. And the last one, my coat is less expensive than hers. Did you get them all? I think I'm very proud of you. Not keep on working and do not give up. Rome wasn't built in a day. Keep posted with our videos and more material in Aprendo en Casa, Región de Murcia. La teacher se despide y os espera en los próximos videos.